Hello, where are we going? Whatever you, yeah, it's it's okay. It's just you know, I can walk from Susanna Glen to Pasala. It's not a problem. <clears throat> My motto: give hundred percent and invest in yourself. Without investing in yourself, you can't gain. I mean, I think it's a motto of of my life, not only of my sport. I always, I think every tennis player it's perfectionist in a way. You know, if you're not, you cannot really succeed. And Davis Cup, what about it? I retired a year and a half ago. After winning in 2005, it was a fantastic experience to become the world champion and, and to win it with such a small country, it's was, was really something special. And we are really proud of what we did in 2005 because not many countries can say that they won the Davis Cup. It's, it's the oldest team competition in sports in general. So to be only one of the 13 nations who won it, it's something special. And that 2005 was, we had a fantastic run. And to start with the first round in, against USA, in, in the USA, it was, it was great to beat Roddy Agassi and Brian Brothers and everything started there and we managed to use that victory and to go all the way and win in the final and also I think it's special also because we are the four matches, two we played home, two we played away, which is, which is not easy to win away from home. Habits before a game depends of the, of the match, depends of the tournament, sometimes you're very nervous, sometimes you are not nervous at all. You have to manage those emotions, you have to try to control those emotions and not really change them, but accept them the way they are. And I think that's the way how to approach the important matches. If you try, if you try to change, if you're nervous and you try to relax yourself, I don't think the chances are big. It's better to accept your, your tension and, and, and play with it, you know go out in Paris during the tournament well yes I mean Paris is one of the cities where we like to stay even after the tournament so uh, if there is something really special that uh, requires a long time and a lot of energy like climbing to Eiffel Tower or going to the Louvre we do it after the tournament instead of during the tournament and during the tournament we go for great restaurants and maybe walks on Champs-Élysées and uh, in the parks around Paris what do you do if you win Roland Garros? Oh, what would I do? I don't know. I, d I don't think that you need to think about it. You just need to follow your your emotions and and celebrate. I guess I would celebrate definitely. Yeah, who's w w the first person I would call? Well, I would think that you know if I play the final. All the, all the closest people that I have next, they would be next to me, you know, so I don't think there would, there would be a need to call anybody. I was just, you know, jump in a box and celebrate and I honestly, I wouldn't think that I would be able to go to play the next, next week, you know, which I see Rafa doing, well, but he's used to it, you know, it's different. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Have You're a welcome. very good day. Thank you. Thank you, I hope to see you next time. See you next time. Yes, Bye. thank you very much. Thank you.